This is why I do not like MLCC capacitors. I like that little brown ceramic right there. I'll show you why. Let's see if I can do this single handedly. Shorted. Yep. Totally dead. Remove the old one, which is dead. You can see it right there. Go ahead and uh, give her a test. Totally dead. Wow, really? I just, no, it's still dead. Okay. So, I soldered in a nice shiny new one, which I pulled from that old uh, Sony Bio board, which is junk. So, um, let's give it a shot. Hey, what do you know? Actually works. There we go. I better unplug that before the processor overheats. Uh, it should even work off the battery. Maybe. There we go. Let's see, does it work? Yay, it works. There you have it. That's how you fix a motherboard. Just suddenly died. Most likely those things go, you know, are bad because these capacitors are just junk. They go bad all the time, especially in the PS3s. Now that I have the motherboard uh, assembled with the hard drive, the razor card, the memory chip, and the fan. Gotta have a fan, that's important. Works perfectly fine. I would say this was a successful repair. It is an HP Compact 6710B. So if you have one of these machines that suddenly died with no indicator lights and a failure to turn on, most likely it is probably that capacitor right there. Now might be different from board to board like it could be that one of those three up there maybe one of those two right there or you know, you know what I mean it could be any one of them but the point of it is all it takes is that one little guy right there to stop this whole machine from working that's all it takes thank you for watching